me. That's where you can find them. That worked with me, with mm-hmm. Dennis Leary, when I mentioned Adam's name. Did yeah, 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 yeah. me off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? Water? Yeah. Fuck him. Is this your water? Him. <laughs> Fucking Leary. Is this your water? Fucking talentless cunt. <laughs> wow, you're not Sorry. a big Dennis Leary you know, fan? I, wait, what's this about? No, we can make a headline mind. today. Never, never mind. mind. I might want to be in Rescue Me. Let's make a little Google alert today. I don't know where that came from. Let's go for a Google alert. It's our new bit. Let's go for the Google alert. Why do you hate? Why do you hate Dennis Leary? You guys ever fight? What? Do you have an argument? No, it's just funny because last time I saw him, we had a nice conversation. He's huh. always, I'm always nice to him in public. He stole a bit from me years ago. Oh, all. did he? Yeah, that's all. Oh, that, that's a biggie, though, Louis. What yeah. bit? Because I uh, used to listen to the early uh, Dennis mm-hmm. Leary stuff, and uh-huh. I thought he was a genius. Uh, yeah. And now I have to think you're the genius. Well, what bit was it? <laughs> oh, geez. Was it off his first album? I don't know. I never heard his album. Mm-hmm. But please, of course you have. Couldn't be no, bothered. I <laughs> like, Jimmy. I was gonna say, I, like you would take me to death. Oh, yeah, God. Bullshit, you like it. I was going to say, of course you have. We're, that's where you got your oh, act weird. From. I've never said anything about it, and I don't know why that just made me. Oh. He, you know why? Because he was shitty to you. That makes he, me mad. He, did, he fucking totally was a I douche. I don't care that he skates what? and has whatever, but the fact that he was a douche to you just We've settled. Mad. We've since settled it's it. First time I've said anything about him. He's a friend of the show. He was up in Boston. Uh, I was there with my friend Adam Ferrara, who was in uh, The Job, the show The Job with him. And uh, uh, Ad, uh, Adam was like, yeah, I'll take you up and meet uh, Dennis. Uh, mm-hmm. So I go upstairs. We're hanging out, all hanging out. All my friends, everybody's hanging around. The bar's kind of full. Dennis is up there getting a drink. I decide not to wait for Adam. I can do this myself. I'll walk up to Dennis Leary, say, hey, Dennis, I'm a friend of Adam Ferrara. Shake his hand and start talking, and uh, that'll be that. So I walk up to the bar. I go, hi, Dennis. I'm a friend of uh, Adam Ferrara. Name's Anthony. He goes, doesn't even look at me. He goes, yeah. how you doing? And then turns his back to me. He wasn't yeah. talking to anybody. Yeah. He wasn't busy. He just yeah. went, how you doing? Uh, turned nice. his back to me. And I was just like, and so I walk away slowly. And it was so bad that all my friends and all, everybody, I mean, workers, said, everybody, we were all could, comfortable. couldn't even laugh at me for it. They, oh, no, I, that's I looked, bad. I got a quick enough look to see them turn away and not look at me. That's and, bad. Are you oh, embarrassed? Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, and, and forgot the uh, part where Dennis Leary actually kind of did the backwards handshake without oh looking at like, yeah, yeah, He yeah, just yeah, goes, yeah, yeah, how you doing? And reaches out oh his hand like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, and all I was thinking is, I should have waited for <clears> Adam. <throat> you, but you felt stupid? Dude, hey. so stupid. Hey. I felt like such a douche, and everyone was embarrassed for right. me, which hurt even <laughs> I'm more. I'm so happy that Adam. All right, well, <laughs> I knew you'd wait, love wait, wait. I, yeah, I, 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 we can't <laughs> let Louie off the hook here. So let me, no? tell, you, cause let me tell you what happened. I'll tell you, I, I have to tell you everything for it to, to be fair. Uh-oh. Because, uh, well, when I was a young fella starting in Boston, mm-hmm. I guess I was like 19 or 20. 19. And I was doing my signature bit, the bit I closed with, was a bit about uh, if you were an asshole and you knew it and how cool it would be to just say, I'm an asshole and just let yourself have that life, that your life would be better. Like you're driving, mm-hmm. you go, hey, should I cut that guy off? Yeah, I'm an asshole. Why not? <laughs> you know, uh, park in a handicapped space. Only an asshole would do that. Oh, uh, fuck, fuck it. I'll do it. I'm an asshole. That's me. And they, uh, you said they should have like... A picture of an asshole instead of a wheelchair and just make those the asshole spaces and the whole bit. Anyway, so one night i um, doing a show at a place called Played Against Sam's in Boston. And Dennis is the host of the show. He was a huge star in Boston at the time and uh, on the comedy circuit. And he went on after me. He was always nice to me, by the way. Put me on the mm. shows when I wasn't yeah. on, on them. Should be. Gave me guest spots. And then that night he went on after me. Uh, after I'd done the asshole bit and like went, that's really funny and like <clears throat> remarked on it and expounded on it. Like, yeah, like, and that, like, I'll do this because I'm an asshole and I'll do that because like, I'm an asshole. Like, he just started, he actually riff- started riffing on riffing it. on my bit, but acknowledging that he just watched me do it. Which, yeah. Which is, I think, is okay. And oh, then, boy. like, um, I don't know, a month later or something, I'm downstairs at Sam's. I just come walk in and he's doing, <laughs> he's just doing the bit. Just started, he just started doing it. And I was young and just started out, and I was like, well, he's huge. Wow, I'm flattered. What do I do? <laughs> well, and I remember thinking and to angry. myself, I remember thinking to myself, well, <clears throat> it's weird that he would steal. It's too bad that he has to. I'm tired of the bit myself. I feel I felt like I'd outgrown it, and so I just thought, I think I'd just let it go, and I did. And, uh, yeah, so then it became a... a yeah, he, the song's he, made a huge amount of money too. Yeah, he more than stole a bit from you. Yeah, that's he made his, it a number that's one his single. signature fucking like yeah. thing. 
So, yeah. That yeah. was a video on MTV. Yeah, I know. That's how big that bit <laughs> was for him. I know. It wasn't like a throwaway little bit you did. No, this sir. was like, this is what he's known for. Yeah, it was a career making bit. He, he, he's still <laughs> career maker. He still uh, sings this song every every time yes. he performs. Well, as a matter of fact, the last time, uh, <laughs> uh, during two years ago at the New York Comedy Festival, he closed with this. He was, uh, he, and I was on the show. <laughs> Oh Actually, I think God. he did. It. I think he did it, and then brought me on. And I just don't. Oh. I don't identify with it anymore. And the, and the other thing, the pieces that are important to tell, is that years later, I'm living in New York City. I run into Dennis on the set of a movie he's doing, and he go. He says, "God, you're always so funny. What are you doing with yourself?" And at the time, I was trying to finance a uh, independent feature I was making, and he gave me uh, several thousand dollars and helped me find it. He just basically was, gave me money. Oh, that was, okay. that was guilt money. Yeah. yeah, which I never really even thought of that, but I guess that's true. And I, I mean, he gave, and, and so he invested in it. Guilty, yeah, and I, when I run into Dennis, we say hi to each other. And uh, was he count out the money going? <laughs> 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 and uh, and then yeah, and then when I did his show on Avery Fisher Hall, and he and he played this song and brought me on, and I remember thinking, oh, that's silly. That's a silly moment in my life. But I just don't. I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't. Uh, I've never never said anything. And it's just funny because this this other poor fucking idiot has been <laughs> accused for three years now of stealing shit from me, and I've never said a word about that because I. I'm a, I'm ambivalent about it, but this is a guy who I completely watched steal my bit and make money off of it, and I've never done a fucking thing. You know what the funny thing is? Though, there's another story wow. you told too, where Louis walked in on his danger field. Remember that? And fucking Roddy was there, and he goes, "How you doing?" And you're like, ah, "I don't think I get no respect." And Roddy was. <laughs> 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 I understand how you feel, huh? Yeah. You know. I mean, I've always had kind of a perspective about people that steal material that I feel like they're. I don't know. It feels like what they do to themselves is probably a lot worse than anything. I mean, what am I going to do about it? I, yeah. I, I just kind of continue living my life, uh, you know, making more things. But, but that is the Dennis thing That's is a, a weird one. one. Oh, and I guess since That's he gave one. me money for my movie and he was always generally kind to me, I always felt like, well, I'd be a hypocrite to say something about it. Hmm. Well, and for some reason, when I heard Anthony say that he was rude when he that he's rude to you, it he just, was it just rude lit, to me the lit, first time. Lit me off, made me mad. But then we've had him on the show many, many times, and uh, right. So you know, he it's does a, your bits very well. Uh, and, uh, he <laughs> but Louis is yeah, a fucking shocking guy. Employs my buddy. Yeah. So. He's been a shocking guy since he was a little kid. Like when you said you were a little kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he told me this. He was a boy. He would always curse. <laughs> well, what do you say? Yeah. And they went one time to see yeah. George Carlin, and uh -huh. they introduced him to young Louis, and, and yeah. Louis was trying to be shocking, uh -huh. and he was like, "Shit, piss fuck, concussed like a motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "How many words are that? Seven? <laughs> seven? Was that seven curses you just yeah, laid out?" Lied. And they said, where'd you hear that? He went, on television. <laughs> That's impossible. It's like, uh, I'm like the, the Forrest Gump of uh, <laughs> yes, comedy. comedy. Yes. Louis, it continues today. Uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, this just in, Dennis's ex-wife let his dog out and got hit by a car. So he's oh, oh, my God. Jesus to, uh, Christ. Oh my God. shit, Stephen S., are you uh, crazy? Nice. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He cried over that dog. And I just get, oh, let's all suck Louis's dick. Oh really? Who <laughs> said that? that? Yeah, <laughs> really? Everybody yeah, somebody's mad at me. Let's do it. I still owe him from Lucky yeah, Louie. So let's get I'll going. Be happy to suck. Yeah. Ooh, I guess, uh, God, that sounded. Oh, that gay. was from Dennis L. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's a big like story the right there. That's well, a big, I, that's a Google alert right there for I, yourself. I, no. I don't like it. I don't like uh, the comedy blogger is going to run with that one, my oh, friend. Oh, sir, I don't like it. Don't like being associated with that kind of shit, even from a. Victim. Why would you be? I mean, you fucking had that incident. Remember that time you said you were driving <laughs> with a moose on the fender, and there's a problem. I'm <laughs> fucking Woody Allen. What's wrong with you? <laughs> So obscure, I have but to say. But it was an elk, actually. From. It wasn't a. Yeah. It wasn't a moose.